Hi guys, I'm back with another video and today we're going to be doing purple nails for the Clara Still challenge and we're going to start with a water marble and um, I'm going to start with my dark purple here and I'm going to put down two drops of that and then just kind of stretch it around with my water marble tool so that it touches the side of my shot glass that way it kind of anchors my um, water marble. And I'm doing the same design as I did in my last video, which is just the zigzag straight across um, design. And so I'm only going to show you one nail and then I'll do the, the other two. And we're doing this purple mar water marble to look like um, kind of like a spooky night sky. Um, I, I love doing Halloween manicures and since it's not Halloween time, I find other ways to use my Halloween plates and since this prompt was really vague, which is how I like them, um, the, the prompt was just purple so I thought, oh, perfect, I'm gonna do something a little spooky. Okay, so I've got my purple and my clear and I'm gonna draw my lines with my hair on there. Okay. So I draw one, wipe it off, and two, wipe it off, and that just secures your water marble to the side of the cup. And then you want to start at your clear ring, don't, don't mess with that purple one because it's already dry. And if you try to drag it, it's just going to come off the sides and mess up your design. And I'm wiping my water marble tool off after every swipe across. There we go. And you just keep dragging until you have the design you want. There we go. And so now you have to find the spot where you want to go. And I'm thinking hmm, right I'm thinking right here is where I'm going to attempt to go in. So I have the liquid latex around my fingers that I'm going to water marble. And I always misplace my stick that I'm going to use to clean off the water with. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in with my pointer finger and push down. And then my finger's down in there and I'm going to blow on the surface of the water to dry the rest of this. And then I just lift that all away. You really want to make sure you clean that surface really well so there's nothing left. And then you just want to, if you can see that little bubble there, you want to slowly lift it out and pop the bubble dip it back in, and then pull your nail out. There we go. Now I turned on my focus, but of course it's not going to work. There we go. Guess I was just too close to the lens. I'm really learning about my camera. Okay, so I'm going to do the other two, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished my water marble, and I went ahead and uh, took off my liquid latex and did a little bit of cleanup. And then the next thing I did was I took this Uber Chic Plate Halloween-01 and I stamped the haunted house image on my clear jelly stamper. And then I colored in the windows and I covered it in a um, clear nail polish. If you look through, you can see, oops, sorry. You can see the house there. There we go. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is um, I, I've waited until this is almost all the way dry. Like I touch it and there's no fingerprints. And so I'm going to put that on my middle nail. And so get that lined up there. And just smush it on there. And there's my spooky haunted house. Okay. 
And then the next plate I'm going to use is a bundle monster plate. We're going to use this image down here. Um, can you see on this nail I tried to put a stud and it didn't work? I need to fix that. Okay, so we're going to use this image down here of these trees and this fence. And my black stamping polish is almost out, so this is probably the last manicure I can get out of it before I have to use something else until my Mundo de Uñas comes in from Mexico. And I'm so sad, I just broke my favorite scraper today. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna pick that up with my Fairchelly Stamper. And then I'm gonna place that on my pointer finger. There's that. And then we're going to do the same image on this nail. I'm hoping that you guys are liking this camera um, angle and the zoom a little bit better. Um, I, hope it's, I hope it's focusing a lot better. I've been really playing with my camera a lot trying to just figure everything out. Okay, so scrape and pick up. And then I'm going to line it up just like last time. And fill it right down. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to kind of tap down some of that stamping. When the images are really thin, like the um, fence and the trees right there, sometimes they lift up. So you just tap it down. Okay, I'm going to top coat these and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my finished manicure. It's all cleaned up. Um, and I did want to mention that the light purple that I used in this manicure is like a really old polish from Sally Hansen. It's called um, Lacy Lace, and it was just one coat. It covered so great, and I always get excited when I find a one coat polish, and even better when I find it in my own collection. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, my next video is going to be the prompt unicorn for the same challenge. Um, anyway, have a great day. Bye.